Hi, in this episode, we're gonna learn about PPE. We're here at Santa Clara County Public Health Laboratory, and this is Brandon in the Lab. So the way we determine what type of PPE is required is doing what's called a risk assessment. We treat everything as it's possibly infectious and use universal precautions, and we basically try to identify what possible risk exists with testing this patient or this sample. So if it requires four testing or anything that might create an aerosol, all that is done in a biological safety cabinet. If the organism that we are testing has a possibility for lethality or no known cure, that gets stepped up to our level three laboratory for even higher respiratory precautions. Daniel here is gonna don a powered air purified respirator, also known as a PAPR. Time. Normally when we're working with level three bio threats, we work in teams. And one of the reasons we do that, we can ensure that we're putting on the PPE properly. One reason is these hoods have an inner shield. We wanna make sure that the inner shield is tucked into the gown. You don't wanna do that with a partner. So one example of biosafety precautions is the use of engineering controls like a biological safety cabinet, like the one we have here. This piece of equipment ensures respiratory precautions for my team. The way it works is air is pulled into the biological safety cabinet. So any type of sample that they're working on, they don't have to worry about breathing any type of infectious organisms. It's all brought up through and filtered through multiple HEPA filters, ensuring the safety of my team. 